It's five minutes past nine here on Racing Ahead. Stay tuned. I do have some tickets to give away to this fabulous night of harness racing at Tadcor Park, Melton, for the Great Southern Star on Saturday night. So, of course, it's free entry to get into Tadcor Park, Melton, but to add to the night, we're giving away a dinner for two in the Trackside Bistro, so stay tuned. There will be more information coming on the program a little bit later. Klaus Koch is one of the leading administrators of harness racing and trotting on the world stage. He's based in Scandinavia. He's had a fantastic involvement in the sport for a long time, particularly around recruiting horses for the great race of Scandinavia Elite Lock. He's in Australia for the Great Southern Star, and he joins me in the studio. Klaus, thank you for joining me. Thank you. So where did your passion for harness racing and trotting first come from? Well, it didn't come from my family, as you know, most, most other people, but uh, I just, I, I can't explain exactly how it started. I grew up in the country, and um, some kind of way the, uh, the interest in horses came, and uh, there, were, there were a lot of trotters there in the neighborhood, so I started going to the race track when I was 10, 11 years old. Trotting is massive in Europe, particularly through Scandinavia and, and also into France. More so that the pacing, is, which is very strong here in Australia, is, is virtually, is not really... Um, showcased in, in Europe. Why, why is that? I can't explain it. Uh, we have the, uh, on the continent of Europe, uh, we have no uh, paces at all, only in England and, 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 uh, and Scotland and Ireland. Those are very small uh, harness racing countries, uh, but in, in the main countries they don't have any paces at all. I can't explain it. Um, uh, the square gators have been dominated since day one. Uh, uh, mainly, I think might be because of that the uh, European races, horse races, like the uh, Russian horse, the, the uh, Dutch Hartbrafa and the French horse, those are square gators. The, the strength of the Scandinavian trotter is, is well known. There's, they've got this ability of going extremely fast, but also having a, a great deal of stamina attached to it. Why do you think that is the case? That's very simple to explain why the, um, the Scandinavians, especially the Swedes, which are by far the dominating country in, in, in Scandinavia, um, have just gone for the mix uh, mixture of uh, uh, American uh, race and the uh, French race, which means just speed and strength, and uh, it actually created a sort of a Swedish race of uh, warm blood trotters, uh, which are a mixture of uh, American blood and French. You've, uh, over the past 15 years or so, been actively recruiting horses to contest the elite lock, which is without a doubt the number one trotting race on the world stage. Was it difficult to try and get horses from different jurisdictions around the world to come and compete there? It's always uh, difficult because, uh, first of all, we, our own trotters are very competitive. That means that we have to get horses to come and uh, when you pick this to get beaten, it's, it's like a, in, in riding someone with an elbow, but uh, anyway, uh, those who want to compete uh, and to want this to, to be a part of the show, they want to come. But it, it's always difficult, like the French horses, for instance, uh, the best horses there, uh, they are at the same time, they are uh, double working as sires, and that means that they have to be available uh, each day at their home uh, barn, so to say, as a sire. And if to, to, it takes two or three days to take them away, even by airplane, they'll be away for two or three days, and that'll be a uh, like uh, have an impact on their business down there and uh, that makes it difficult for us to get the best fresh horses. So they mix breeding with actual racing? Correct, yes, from four years old of age. And this has been just something that's occurred for a long, long time or is it a relative? Since more than 100 years, yes. It's remarkable because we don't often see that type of thing occur in Australia. No, and, and neither in, uh, in Scandinavia. It's very, very few uh, of the uh, active uh, stallions who actually uh, work out as uh, in the breed as well. You've uh, been able to get Australian trotters to go over to Scandinavia, the likes of Knight Pistol, who was able to win a, a feature race over there, the wonderful mare from New Zealand, Pride of Petite, Lyle Creek, Special Force, Sunderland's Gift. Some went well, some didn't. Um, how do you go about matching up the strengths and weaknesses of each jurisdiction around the world? I mean, what do you look for if you're trying to target a horse to compete in the elite lock, what type of attributes do you look for as a, as a, uh, as a quality animal to go over there? Well, uh, it's easy to compare the horses within uh, Europe because uh, the, the trotters from Scandinavia goes to, goes to France and compete during the winter. You see the match between those uh, uh, two jurisdictions, I would say. But by talking about Australasia, it was more difficult from the beginning. Of course, I had a, like a 
sometimes that it could that could be caused with uh, compared to this in Scotch and Arch with uh, with Dane Lang. I went up to uh, to the Netherlands in, in 1985, and uh, then we knew that it was possible to get it because it started from down under. And uh, when when I first started, the first uh, I was the first horse I brought up. It was actually the first horse ever trotter ever coming from Austral Asia to Europe to race. Uh, and uh, her mother was there, her, her, her dam, uh, she divine, but she went through America, she was an American training when she went over. But her petite went directly, and uh, I couldn't know uh, how good she would be. She was actually the fastest mare in Europe that year, she, she, um, she was there, uh, 156 and 1. So um, uh, that showed me that, uh, that those horses, your horses are competitive, and that uh, started the interest of bringing more horses up. When you 